Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tarek al Tawil, and I'm one of the orthopedic surgeons at the National Institute of Neuromotor System in Cairo. This is a case report on a plate fixation for type B1 Vancouver periprosthetic fracture. Um, you know the Vancouver classification for the uh, fracture, and uh, you can see this is the uh, type B1 as the arrow points. And this is the case I'm presenting uh, today. This is a 48-year-old man who uh, had a sound uh, total hip replacement hybrid type with cementless cub and cemented stem. Unfortunately, he was involved in road traffic accident sustaining this fracture, as you can see. And actually, the plan is whether to avail the chance after 10 years and revise the stem with a longer one or uh, just simply internally fix it. We believe that the uh, best uh, way to fix it is by using a broad uh, uh, DCP, uh, the advantage of which is the holes are alternating and uh, then you can point your uh, screws whether anterior or posterior to the uh, metal stem this is the operation which was done as you can see this is a long uh, broad dcp and there are uh, five screws uh, proximally and five distally and as you can see from here we uh, used artificial uh, bone graft to enhance healing. Uh, this x-ray actually shows that at the tip of the uh, prosthesis there is a small piece of cement that uh, prevented reduction of this fracture <clears throat> and that um, we had to remove it as you can see from the uh, post-op x-ray as uh, actually being useless now. This is the fracture um, three and a half months following the operation and uh, you can see here uh, the uh, healing of the fracture and very uh, good callus formation definitely enhanced by the uh, artificial bone graft used though the uh, fracture line uh, still could be seen yet this large sound callus gave us a very good clinical union. This is the uh, man three and a half months following his operation and he is um, walking in, I would say, in a normal gait and he's quite happy with the result of his uh, operation. <clears throat> and you should keep in mind that the life expectancy of the stem uh, following this operation is shortened by this plate and screw fixation as its cement mantle has been uh, penetrated by many screws thus breaching its continuity and also lost its most distal part supporting the tip. So the message is with the type B1 <clears throat> Vancouver classification and the stem is proved to be still stable in place, it's better to fix the fracture with blade and screws. The broad femoral DCP plate is a very good option, as you can angle the screws in front of and behind the stem without hitting it, while at the same time you have a rigid fixation. We believe this is easier than stem revision. Thank you for watching.